Hey, what's going on guys? It's Caleb and today I have another After Effects tutorial for you guys. It feels like it's been a while since I've said that, even though it's been like, it's been like a month, probably a good month. So uh, sorry for not posting as much as I should. Uh, it feels a little weird not posting, but uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to come up with ideas for tutorials. So if you guys ever have any tutorial requests, then feel free to message me or uh, hit me up on Twitter or the comments if you have any questions or want to know how to do an effect or something, because it's kind of hard to come up with these things. Um, I've also been kind of busy too, so sorry about that. But for the effect we have here today, it's this reveal, this like text reveal with a line. Um, I see this used a lot in Kinect typography templates, and people will sell it for pretty good money. You know, like they'll 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 charge you like fifty bucks for their or forty five dollars usually for like a Kinect typography template, and they vary. But you know, you have a lot of the time you'll see this effect being used, and it's super simple. Um, I don't know if the way I'm doing it is the way people normally do it, but I thought it was kind of clever and easy. Um, because all I have here are two shape layers and a text layer, so I thought it worked well. So uh, let's get into that. Cool. All right, new composition. And sorry if I sound a little gross right now. Um, it's because I'm feeling gross. Sorry about that. I'm kind of stuffy. Um, don't know why, because it is only September, but I'm already getting a cold. That's awful. Um, so I'm going to make a text layer, and I just made a solid for our background, just a nice red solid. That's cool. I'm going to use a line to put that in the center. And since I'm OCD, I'm going to use Motion 2 to center up that anchor point. Awesome. And then I'm going to scale this up if the command will come up. There we go. Now we have a nice text layer. And now let's make a shape layer. So layer, new, shape layer. I feel like I'm going a little fast here. <laughs> right now we just made one text layer and one shape layer. I don't want to like speed run the tutorial. So I don't have a habit of doing that. Um, but so we have our shape layer. I'm going to grab the pen tool from up here. You can use G, the command G to get that up. And then I'm just going to make a straight line across. And I think that looks fine. And we do not want to fill for this line. We just want a stroke and we'll make it a nice white stroke. Awesome. Um, seven pixels, uh, maybe a little bit wider. How about, uh, how about nine? Just to match up with the thickness of our text. Cool. Uh, I feel like this needs to be a little bit more to the left. And uh, using motion two, I will center my anchor point to this, just because I'm OCD, even though I don't really think it'll matter, but you know, whatever. So right now we have one text layer and one shape layer. And what we want to do is the effect, you know, towards the end of this, we want our line to go over the text like this and reveal it. And um, how do we do that? Let's figure that out. So I need to make this a little bit larger so it covers up our L. Um, that should be fine there. All right, now that this line is big enough to match our L and go over the entire text. So if we were to say we were to take it right now and go over, it covers up the entire text. So when we do the actual reveal, it won't look weird. Awesome. We have our reveal, our shape layer. But then in this example here, we have uh, we actually have two shape layers. We have a shape layer that's actually invisible that's going over the text while this other shape layer is being seen and going over the text. So it's kind of like and it's kind of clever. So let me show you how to do this. So uh, just make another shape layer. Sorry, my voice cracked. I'm so stuffy right now. Um, and then we're just going to make a really big rectangle. This is a really big one. You could, I suggest making it as big as you want, um, just big enough to the point where it will actually cover up your entire text because if it doesn't, then you're going to have some issues. So just make it a pretty big. Um, and then I'm just going to make it, uh, I'm actually going to make it a different color just so that we can see uh, there's a clear difference between this box and our white stroke um, because what we need to do is we need to line up this rectangle with our stroke um, so as you can see let's just zoom in a little bit our uh, blue box is right there so right here that's our box right so now we just need to have it cover up and i'm using the arrow keys to just move this right over our stroke that we originally made with the pen tool so that looks like it's perfectly perfectly covering it right there so we can't see any more white that's awesome and that's what we need to do, right? So let me show you how this works. So you're gonna put this shape layer below this uh, this line so that the line's on top. And then on your text, you are going to alpha mat. So to do that, toggle switches and modes and pull up your track mats. Then you're gonna alpha mat the, uh, the text layer to the big uh, box. And then for the big box, you are going to parent that to your shape layer so that it moves with it. And basically the reason why this works is because this box right here is going over our text and is acting as basically a cutout. Like you have, it's invisible, so you can't see it. And it's giving the illusion that this, uh, this line here is doing all the work. But in reality, you know, behind the scenes, we have this big blue box covering up our text, but it's just invisible and the text is alpha matted to it. So the text is only showing up where that blue box is. That's what alpha matting is. It's basically saying 
wherever this thing is, that's where this other thing is going to show up. So since we have our uh, blue box parented to the the white line, um, it's moving with that white line and that the reason why we made the box so big is so that it would go over the entirety of the text. And um, that's pretty much it. So now what you do is you just keyframe this position thing. This is the position of our, uh, let's go ahead and get some names down too. So this would be our white line. And then this would be our Invisibox. That sounds pretty cool. And then we have Reveal there. So we keyframe this here, and then we go forward a few frames and move it over down here. Um, and I'll just go ahead and easy ease these keyframes to make them look all nice. We RAM preview that. Look at how clean that is. Super simple and super easy. You have the Reveal. It looks really nice, and I see this being used all the time in Kinect Typography templates, and people are selling it for like $3,000, and it drives me insane because it's like took like five minutes. Um, don't ever buy Kinect Typography templates. Just learn how to do it yourself. That just drives me insane. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I see this used all the time. Just thought I'd cover it because um, it's super simple. Hope it helped you guys out. That is it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye. <laughs>